Hey guys, what's going on? Splatterman7 back here with another view for Evil Dead 2. Dead by Dawn. Anyways, I, I have to show you the steel book because, I mean, that's that's pretty crazy. Like, how good that is. And if you're a really big fan of Evil Dead 2, I mean, man, that's, that's a good fucking thing though, but... Or a good steel book, but anyways, basically, I think what is it? The first like eight minutes or four or eight minutes of the movie is like a recap of the original Evil Dead, and then it picks up with Ash being like, like fucking like picked up and like thrown through the air and like going back through the woods though, and then he falls down and like falls in the puddle. And he goes, like, fucking what the fuck? And then, like, becomes, like, evil Ash. And then the sun comes out, and then, basically, he's back to being just Ash, though. And, and instead of being evil Ash, because if the sun comes up, it's just like vampires. <laughs> some, some shit just like that. But, anyways, I really like this movie, and I do think it definitely improves on the original Evil Dead. And then Ash is about to go back in the cabin when he goes and looks both ways and then goes into his 1973 Delta 88 Oldsmobile <laughs> jumps in that sucker and goes down and checks the bridge out and it's like all bent up into shape and then basically for the first like what is it 20 minutes he's like by himself and <laughs> there's some crazy shit going on and he's just like walking around the cabin and fucking damn <laughs> and then like the infamous laughing scene when he's like <laughs> and, and he's laughing though and then like he shoots the door and then uh, fucking the, the hillbilly and <laughs> the the girl Annie and then uh, Bobby Joe get, gets shot and then evil Ed or Ed, anyways, they, they come in and hold him down, and they fucking, like, kick the shit out of him, and then, like, they throw Ash into the basement, and I always thought that was pretty funny when he falls, and then he's just basically trapped down in there, and fucking, they, they start, like, hearing shit in the basement, and fucking Henrietta comes, comes through the floorboard, though, played by Ted Raimi, <laughs> God damn. And then he, he has to, like, go up there. And, like, then they lock the... They put the chain around the, the cellar door. And basically then everybody starts turning in, like, the fucking deadites all. And fucking... Then it's Annie and Ash that are left. And one of my favorite scenes in horror history is when they, they go to the work shed. And then Ash gets his chainsaw and the, the double barrel and then he's like groovy and he, he does that anyways and then he goes into the cellar and carves himself a witch and he goes down there and cuts that fucking bitch though well I mean anyways like he cuts it open and tries to like find Henrietta and then Henrietta goes up there and is fucking with Annie and he's like come get some <laughs> let's go, and then, like, they start fighting, and then it makes, like, a weird monkey noise, and he's, like, boom, and, like, punches the shit out of it, though, out of Henrietta, and then chops the head off, and then this fucking gigantic motherfucking tree, like, apple tree looking fucking thing, like, grabs Ash, and fucking, he's just sitting there, and he goes, revs up the chainsaw, and just shoves it right into the, the apple tree's, like, fucking eye though and then basically Annie has to read from the Necronomicon Ex Mortis which is the book of the dead and she reads it and then he has to go back in the past and she gets stabbed in the back and she just finishes and then all of a sudden like the whole like room in the house and the car the Delta gets sucked into the vortex and then Ash tries to hold on, hold on and he is going through there, and Bruce Campbell's, like, going, like, through the, the, the teleportation 
thing like to go back to the past they fall out of the sky to deliver them from the tales of the deadites and then and then everybody's like hell hell because ashes came back to deliver them from the deadites and he shoots the fucking deadite out of the air and then he's sitting there no 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 and then because he knows he's stuck back in time but anyways i i personally give this movie an 8.5 out of 10 i mean i really enjoy it and i've watched this movie several times it's always been a good movie and i i think it is probably one of my it's definitely my favorite evil dead movie for sure but everybody have a groovy night <laughs> so hey, have a good one